Welcome to Career Day Training Solutions on Interest Calculations Session 2. In this video, we are going to discuss about the shortcut to find the total rate of interest at the end of certain years. So here, I provided you an example. You borrow 10 lakh rupee from the bank, so which is principal, and the rate of interest is 3 percentage, and the number of years is 3 years. Let us check how this part work both on simple and compound interest. So in simple interest, you don't need to use any formulas. So it's quite simple. Now here it is given 3 percentage per annum. So 3 percentage per annum means for one year you have to pay 3 percentage. For three years, you have to pay 3 into 3 percentage. So 3 into 3 percentage give you 9 percentage as the overall interest at the end of three years. So 9 percentage of 10 lakh is 90,000 rupees. So simple interest is quite simple, right? So you have to multiply the total percentage so it means the three uh, number of percentage per annum with the total number of years. So that gives you the total interest that you have to settle at the end of given years. So in simple interest, it is 9 percentage. Let us check how it works in compound interest. So you can't able to directly multiply the rate of interest with the number of years. There you have to follow a trick. So here the trick is you can mark like a formula. So it is A plus B plus AB by 100 right now let me show you how this trick will work in the given numbers so here the total number of years is 1 2 and 3 right so in first year it is sufficient for you to pay only 3 percentage right so you have to pay only 3 percentage now you haven't paid this 3 percentage now moving to second year, you have to pay the first year 3 percentage, right? Plus second year also you will get another 3 percentage, right? Plus for the previous year 3 percentage pending amount, you have to pay another 3 percentage, right? So 3 into 3 by 100. So 3 of 3 percentage, so 3 into 3 by 100. So it is in the format of A plus B plus AB by 100. So first year's interest, second year's interest. So first year's interest into second year's interest, right? So A plus B plus AB by 100. So solving this, you are getting how much? 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3 into 3 by 100.09. So it is 6.09 percentage. So 6.09 percentage of 10 lakhs give you 60,900. Right? So in compound interest, at the end of two years, you have to pay 60,900. Right? But you are not settling the 60,900 at the end of 2 years. So you are planning to settle the complete amount at the end of 3 years. So in 3rd year, the pending amount is 6.09% plus 3rd year also you will get a, another 3% so plus 3% plus for the previous year 6.09% this year you have to pay another 3% so 6.09 into 3 by 100. So solving this, you will get 6.09 plus 3, 9.09 .09 plus 6.09 into 3 give you 18.27 by 100. So solving this, you will get 9.2727 percentage. So totally at the end of 3 years, you have to pay 9.2727 percentage as compound interest. So 9.2727 percentage of 10 lakh is how much you have to pay? 92,727 as compound interest at the end of three years. So this is the total compound interest that you have to settle at the end of three years. So if you are planning to settle the interest as well as principal at the end of first year, you have to pay only three percentage of the principal you borrowed. So which is 30,000 rupees. At the end of second year, you have to totally pay 60,900. If you are not paying at the end of first year and second year, you have to totally pay 92,727 at the end of three years. I hope you understood how this interest calculation works in the compound interest, right? So in upcoming videos, I will show you how to easily calculate the compound interest and total amount. I hope you enjoy this session. So if you haven't sus subscribed my channel, so please subscribe. If you like the video, click the like button and share it to your friends. If you hold any doubts, Please comment it below. Thank you. Have a nice day.